8, 1, 13, 11, 10 and 7 of the Superfecta numbers. 8, 1, 13, 11, 10 and 7. And we can't help you at this stage as to the uh, Superfecta in first four. We'll have that coming up in a jiffy. Tony has the margins. Thank you, Tone. One and three quarters spurred on's winning margin. Uh, but between second and third, a long neck. And the time, 1.36.06. Sectionals 48, 37 and 35, 91. And here's Spurred on and Brian York returning to the enclosure. Uh, now, that's, well, we'll start on the toast that we have. Ding, ding, ding. Number eight, 660 and two dollars. Number one, 390. Number 13, 570. The Quinella, 2280. Exacta, 5420. Trifecta, 71230. The three and eight extra double paid $38 neat. 38 neat. And that's where I come to a grinding halt as far as the display of dividends is concerned here at Royal Randwick. Over to you, studio. And the first four, 8, 1, 13, 11, is $16,524. And the super-affected dividend, but at jackpots, the dividend for is $1,224,945.50 uh, $1, on 8, 1, 13, 11, 10, 7. But the jackpot portion is $524,000. OK, Liz, thank you very much for that. Yes, we don't get that information out here uh, in detail as you do. So um, there we go. What a wacko of a first four. And what, what a super factor it will be on the last with a carryover of over half a million. Beautiful. Somebody, I hope, will crack it big. But there you are, out of the one million two hundred and twenty-four thousand nine forty-five through flexi betting. Yeah, that somebody's done, or somebody's have done very well. Whatever blue Peroni easing back as Aspect Dancer moves up on the inside from Parada. And last of all, pushing up behind them, the Gimp, and then wider out on the track is Kiora Co and Company with the Clot Top Weight Classic Ridge. And behind those in the Flesh and Society step over on the inside in the straight. And the Gimp came away from the fence to grab Silent Majority. A length away, Third Canyon. And two lengths away, then Beist into Society steps getting into the clear. Classic Ridge is only battling. The Gimp on the outside and Silent Majority locked together. Two to Canyon and Society and Soviet step on the outside. It's still uh, on the outside, the Gimp. And Silent Majority. The Gimp ahead in front of Silent Majority and the Gimp wanted ahead to Silent Majority. Soviet Step got third. All sunlit planes further back in the race then Prieta. Fantasies and last of all is Stratty. On the turn, calming straight and two and a half die ruler and queen. Eamon Ruby and Dolphin Dance out in the middle, followed by Jean Girl. 300 to go, calming a length and a half in front of die ruler. Dolphin Dance coming down the middle, finishing off well from Jean Girl. Dolphin Dance is moving up to calming from Jean Girl and then something funny. Dolphin Dance in front of the 100 to go, holds Jean Girl at bay. And Dolphin Dance, too good a half length, Jean Girl. A half away, third in the race, something funny than Eamon Ruby. Wider out on the track was Prieta making ground from Die Ruler. Sunlit Plains further back in the race then Calming got very tired. In behind it would have been Stratty from Fantasies. Queen Knock right up from Tully Law and near the tail is Comic Jewel. Number four, Dolphin Dance, 510, 180. Number 10, Jern Girl, $2.60. Number five, Something Funny at $2 even. Now at Fairfield, here's Ross Sheriff. Arnold, too strong. Number four beats number ten, Jern Girl, and number five, something funny, is third. Numbers are up, four, ten, five. Four, ten, five in the frame. Four, ten, and five here at Caulfield with Dolphin Dance. Home in race number four today. Now at Cor uh, Cambridge, 13, 6, 3, 7, 9, 10, the Super Factor numbers. Now at Fairfield, here's Ross Sherr. Thanks, Dad, Les. Yes, I'm very keen on one here. The Yolumba Classic Hurdle start. They're all locked away. There's the light. Racing. They're on their way. Two laps of the Oak Bank course proper. 15 jumps and they head down towards the first of them with sound showing speed with Ryazan and Okaho Prince, Ta Texan Trader. Wider out to Broid with Jetsky. Then Bold Impulse. Behind those runners, big bonus with Bolster. Further back, Hexhead. Getting well back was Jack's Rule. And one of the last two lengths away then was Prelude. As they come behind the hill the first time and it's Jetsky out in front and running. Let out by a couple of lengths, two in second spot. Back on the inside is Sound. A couple away coming. Ryazan, they're about to come to this jump at the 3100. A 
Lakethor Sader, big bonus from Akahu. Prince back on the inside. Dobroyd was a length back from Bold Impulse. Texan Trader Bolster. Hex head, it's outside. Five lengths away came Preludes. And Jack's rule last of all, but it's Jetsky out in front and running. Leading by five lengths to Sounder. Two lengths away. Big bonus, a length and a half away. Ryazan. A half length of Kahu Prince. They were followed by Dobroyd, Bold Impulse, Texan Trader. Then came Hex head from Bolster. Well back was Preludes and back toward the rear was Jack's rule as they go over that jump now by the 2700. And it's Jetsky in front here. Leading with a big lead here, Jetsky. Jetsky leads out by about six or seven lengths to sound second. About four away racing third was Big Bonus. Another six to Okahu Prince. As they head down towards that next jump at the 650 metre mark on the first round. And Jetsky's got a very big lead. Gee, they're well and truly sprung, strung out here. There must be the best part of 150 metres from first to last. And Jetsky led by five to sound. Three away, Big Bonus. About six to Okahu Prince. Then Ryazan. Another two or three further back to Bold Impulse on the inside of De Bruyne and Texan Trader. Hexhead was next from Preludes. Bolster second last and last of all was Jack's Rule. Here's the first in the home straight this time around and Jetsky went over it. About three in front of Sound. He's coming back to them now, the tearaway leader. As Jetsky goes to the jump down by the 150 metre mark, he's three in front of Sound who wrapped the top of it. Moving up on his outside, big bonus. Here's the one back where they started and it's Jetsky the leader. Again, Sound seemed to give that a whack. Going to second, big bonus. Ryazan was fourth. Okahu Prince was fifth. Next, about three or four away was De Bruyne as they fly that next jump. On his outside, Preludes. Then Bold Impulse. Hexhead was next from Texan Trader. Then Bolster. And back last of all, Jack's Rule. As they come behind the hill, Jetsky still our leader, but has gone hard. A length and a half on big bonus. Three quarters to sound. A couple away, Ryazan from Okahu Prince. Three away came Preludes. It's made good mid-race ground from De Bruyne. About five lengths away came Bold Impulse taking closer order from Hexhead. As they go over the jump at the 1300. Then came Bolster, Texan Trader and Jack's Rule. They run to the 1200. Jetsky a length and a half on big bonus, a length and a half to sound. Two away came Ryazan around a car who prints a couple away preludes. Two away De Bruyne. They were followed by Bold Impulse. Five away Hexhead. Then Jack's Rule. They were followed by Bolster and Texan Trader last of all as they go to the 1000. They've got five jumps remaining and Jetsky the front runner. He comes to the fifth last leading by a couple. Coming after him now on the outside. Big bonus and sound going forward. A car who prints has made good ground and so has Preludes. He's coming into it strongly. Preludes as they go to the jump at the 800 metre mark. Ryazan was next, then De Bruyne. Bold impulse, not in the race. They head down towards the jump at the 650 and Preludes moved up with sound to take the lead from Jetsky. Two away then, big bonus, then Akahu Prince, but sound. He now ran to the lead as they came down the hill at the 600 metre mark and sound gave them the slip here. He got about three in front of Preludes. Jetsky running the race of his life, then Akahu Prince. Bold Impulse has made ground from De Bruyne. Then Big Bonus and Ryazan in the straight. They've got two to jump. Preludes raising another effort. He went up to take the lead away from Sound at the second last. Deeper out, Bold Impulse charging home late at the 200. One to jump. Preludes has got a big lead. He's only got to stand up. He's over it safely. He's home. It's Preludes racing away in the Yolumba Classic Hurdle from Sound and Bold Impulse and Preludes. Preludes and Brian Constable bolts in. Bold Impulse second. Sound third, fourth big bonus. De Bruyne ran a good race from Akahu Prince. Then Ryazan. Jetsky gave plenty of cheek out in front. A gap to Hexhead. Next to finish was Jack's Rule with Bolster. And Texan Trader last in. It would appear no casualties. Two preludes, $8.10 and $2.40. One bold impulse, $1.60. And number three sound at $1.60. Set Perth. On a lap is the favourite. Second line with Money is Magic. Money is magic, attracting good backing. Starter has them locked away in the gates. Harvey settles himself back on Class Hiller. The gates open back, racing. Caught them to a fairly level start, although the favourite's going to be near enough to last. Donna Lapp is... The They're off. Crete from the inside didn't jump all that quickly and wider out Zodiac Star. Best to begin from Newcastle Knight. Valley Warrior up looking for the lead and going quickly Whitfield Avenue followed closely by Super Covered. They can Empire and then at the head of the others Crete going up on the inside from Step Wind Spend. Air the more major and two lengths to Rye Hero to the 800 and Valley Warrior assumes control from Whitfield Avenue. Crete hustling up on the inside to third. On its outside is Newcastle Knight and then comes Super Covered over on the rails. A gap into Zodiac 
Zodiac Star. Majors Racing very, very wide out, followed by Step Win. Then Spend and Baycan Empire. Air Demore the fence second last and Absolute as Rye Hero. Valley Warrior will lead them clearly around the corner. Three quarters of a length on Crete, who's going after the leader very quickly. A length, the Newcastle Knight, followed by Super Covered. And then comes Zodiac Star and on the outside is Major. Down to the 250, Newcastle Knight and Crete. Lead off Valley Warrior, Zodiac Star joining in and so too is Major. And old Rye Hero from a mile back, but Zodiac Star got to Crete. Super Covered getting up on the inside. And then Spen starting to flash home. Zodiac Star in front getting close to the line. And Zodiac Star will win the money. Zodiac Star from the photo, Crete and Spend. Major not far away with Rye Hero and Super Covered. Air to Moore, Bacon Empire, Step Win, Whitfield Avenue, Valley Warrior. And knocking up to run last, Newcastle Knights. Number two, Zodiac Star, Jimmy Cassidy wins the One World Circle Pacific Handicap. From stall number 13, the outside gate. On the tote in New South Wales, $10.70 and $3. We just can't get a favourite home at the moment. Can't. Number two, Zodiac Star, Guy Walter for the Montview Racing Syndicate. Managed by Ms. Dunn's PC Anderson and E. Ledger. By Victory Prince from Scorpio, five-year-old chestnut gilding, 25 starts, six wins, seven seconds, two-thirds. Number two is first. Here's the minor placings show. 12th Crete, Glenn Boss second, has paid $1.60. Number four, Spend, Darren Beatman third, $3.70. Quinella, $16.10. Exacta, $22.60. Trifecta, $512.10, the fourth to follow. Time for the race, $110.79. And the sectionals along soon. Now, fourth goes to number one major, 2, 12, 4, and 1. And the first four dividend will be coming up in just a matter of moments. All right, well, the, uh, the favourite there, Crete, didn't jump all that quickly from the inside, but he was able to hustle through, and he had his chance, but the winner just a bit too good. Margins, a long head, a half ahead in the previous, long head, half ahead, 110.79, sectional 600. In 35.14, the last 600 took 35.65, and the first four is $4,976.40. Light's still flashing. Signal racing. Majestic Avenue bounced quickly down on the inside. A little bit tardy away, Lee Zagaleta with Ekalaka and Mystic Morse. First out near the inside, Intelligent Star led from Mr. Gold Flyer and orchestrated pushing forward on the outside, followed by Rancho Spark. Whipping around the outside, Flavor is prominent as Orchestrator took the lead from Intelligent Star. And Flavor going up quickly now, second. Uh, the inside, Intelligent Star, third. A length and a half, Mr. Goldflyer running fourth. Then Let's Planet and Geese Cart out deep from Rancho Spark Keeper. Gold Crystal, two lengths to Old Man Mystic Morse, Ekalaka. Two further back, then Majestic Avenue back there with Lee Zagaletta. Coming down towards the 800 metre mark, Orchestrated about three quarters in front from Flavor and Let's Planet three deep. Intelligent Star fourth behind them. Geese Cart wide back in the middle is Mr. Goldflyer, a length further back. Keeper off the track from Rancho Spark. Gold Crystal Old Man, then Mystic Morse, well back Ekalaka with Muda Jar, followed by Lee Zagaletta and Majestic Avenue. 550 metres to go, orchestrator before the turn. A length in front of Flavor, Let's Planet. Keeper Geese Cart out deep on the track when they turn from Mr. Goldflyer. In the straight, orchestrated lead Intelligent Star, followed by Keeper coming down the middle, further back Mr. Goldflyer, Rancho Spark. Keeper is moving quickly to Intelligent Star and Keeper takes the lead. Keeper hit the front from Intelligent Star, orchestrated. Then Old Man and Mystic Morse, but Keeper getting clear and Keeper takes the Victoria Handicap. Three quarters Intelligent Star, orchestrated third. Old Man is fourth, followed by Mystic Morse. Lee Zagaletta further back in the race, orchestrated, pulled up quickly from Rancho Spark. Ekalaka, Mr. Goldflyer, Gold Crystal, followed by Flavor. Mudajar, Majestic Avenue, Geese Card and Let's Planet near the tail. 11, Keeper, $5.70 and $2.20. Number nine, Intelligent Star, second, $2.80. For third, number 17, orchestrated, $7.70. Number 11, number 11, Keeper, written by Kieran McAvoy, has taken out the Victoria Handicap. Caught wide most of the trip, but he really extended to get up to Intelligent Star in the straight. And he's got the upper hand and has got clear to beat Intelligent Star and orchestrated just hanging on for third ahead of old man number five. 11, 7, and 17, 11, 7, uh, sorry, 11, 9, and 17. 11, 9, 17, Keeper. Intelligent Star second, 
And third place into 17, August Trader, which led from a wide gate. And awaiting the fourth number, correct weight, Kembler, 14, 9, 3 and 11. Oak Bank Race 5, number 1, Spy Style, $3.40, $1.60. It's the favourite, 2 Pelagia, six eighty one forty three 3 Nassai Dull, 12 and three forty four 40 Forzolade Scratching, 5 Raspritea, 13 and 3. Six the X Files five ninety two twenty seven Denise seven eighty two seventy eight fine stem twenty four and eight nine dangerous mission fourteen and five ten so say all of us twenty nine and eleven eleven mission time thirty five and ten twelve Lucy's gift at thirteen and three thirteen is out fourteen Alavi on thirty three and eleven favourite is one spice doll tips a wonder beat two and that event goes at three twenty five. Ascot follows at well placed and one silent impact for third four on top from two and one. Trying to punch up Dangerous Mission. Fine stem going forward from Nassi Dole. Lucy's gift restraining behind them now. Pelagia settling down. Raspritea a third last. They were filleted by the X uh, Files and Spy Stole. One of the favoured runners settles down last of all as they're about to run toward the thousand metre mark and it's mission time in front and pulling. Okay, so mission time. The leader here now being pressured on the outside though by a lady on. Fine stems in that leading group of runners as well. Denise back on the inside from So Say All of Us. Then Lucy's gift, Nassi Dole, Pelagia between runners back on the inside dangerous mission then Rasp right here G Spice Dole back second last and the X-Files last of all Nassi Dole moved around the outside to take up the lead at the 700 metre mark and Nassi Dole went clear Lucy's Gift now moved up to challenge quickly low and Lucy's Gift with a lightning move sped around the outside and raced down the hill three in front of Nassi Dole a length away Pelagia starting to run on then a lady on fine stem was next further back so say all of us Rasp right here well back as they turn for home was to Denise with Mission Time. The X-Files, Spice Doll not in the race and back with her dangerous mission. Down by the 250. Lucy's gift the leader. Nassie Doll closing with Pelagia. Then so say all of us and wide out Raspritea with the X-Files. Nassie Doll took the lead. The X-Files wide out. Then Pelagia Raspritea. Nassie Doll tackled by the X-Files. Nassie Doll in front. Nassie Doll. Nassie Dole's just beat the X-Files, third Raspritea, then Dangerous Mission. Pelagia was next from Mission, behind those Mission Time. Further back, Lucy's gift, Spice Dole was never a chance. After settling down at the tail, then Fine Stem, Lucy's gift, Denise, and so say all of us. Three Nassie Dole, 10-10 to win, 280 to place from number six, which is the X-Files, two dollars, with uh, five Raspritea showing 380 to place, all clear at Fairfield. On 8, 7, 3 and 1, 5 metres by 4, the time 2.42.2, the rate 2.3.4. About to move in Ascot for race 2. Soon be off, race 6. Set to go. They're racing. Immediately examine the books, dropped out to last and from the inside, Medicine, best to begin. Double Ace hopped into stride pretty well and up looking for the leaders, Show Dollar, then Trailer Strange, followed by Sir Cossack and Romenko, Gallic Chief and Detained. A length further back is Like a Genie, then Trousers, over on the fence, the favourite consular from Norm's Bridle. Then the top weight, Silent Impact from Fancy Colours, King of Atlantis and Four Links, examine the books. They race on past the 1100 in the country, Cup and the Canberra Mare assumes control, Show Dollar. A length and a half on on double ace, third is Gallic Chief, followed by Romenko, Wide Medicine, the fence, and two Sakosak and Trailer. Then detained around Conchula from Strange, then Trousers, further back, Norm's Bridle, like a genie. Off the track is Silent Impact, a length further off, Fancy Colors from King of Atlantis. And examine the books is the tail ender. They go past the halfway at the 800 show doll. About a half to three quarters of a length on double ace, two lengths to Gallic Chief, a length and a half, Romenko. Then Medicine, Trailer, two, two, detained, and Sir Cossack, Strange, and then comes Conchula. A little better than midfield and over on the rails, followed by trousers like a genie. A length silent impact, Norm's bridle, fancy colours, King of Atlantis. And examine the books, brings up the rear there, homeward bound and show doll. A half length on double ace, a couple of lengths to trailer, putting in a sprinter. Then comes Gallic Chief Romenko, a length of the favourite consular and wider out is strange. Down to the 200, plenty of hopes here. Double ace got the show doll, Romenko battles on with trailer, Gallic Chief, strange. And then comes consular, Romenko is the lead. Trailer the outside, but Romenko in full flight. A great win by Romenko. Romenko beat Trailer and Strange. Then Consular, Silent Impact. Wide out King of Atlantis. Gallic Chief closer in with double A. Show doll detained. Then Fancy Colors examine the books. Dorm's bridal, Sir Cossack, followed by Like a Genie in Medicine. And Trousers, last to complete the course. Big win, Romenko.
Number two, Rominko. Didn't get a lot of luck in the run, but uh, he was wide most of the trip, but he was too good. Larry Cassidy for Paul Perry. And on the tote in New South Wales, second elect, $4.50 and $2. Trailers run a good race. So too has Strange as we stand by for the full numbers to come up. The winner, a four-year-old chestnut gelding by Shelford from Carbon, quote, trained by Paul Perry for the Global Bloodstock Syndication Syndicate. Uh, managed by Steve Marshall and DK Kidd in partnership with R. Hungerford, P. Campbell, P. Burgess, A. Messina, M. Mason and M. Farley. Four-year-old chestnut gelding, start 19, win seven, six seconds and a third. Very genuine racehorse. <clears throat> two, 16, 15, they read. Number two, Romingo, first, El Cassidy. 16, trailer, Mitch Newman, second, has paid $6. 15, strange, Paul Falvey, third, has paid $29.30 for the place. Big dividend. The fourth has gone to number four, and that is Consular. The Quinella, 64 even. Exacta, 104.30. The Trifecta, 7,699.20. The first four, 216, 15, $31,176.40 declared for the dollar. Margins, a half both ways. The time, 137.10. The sectional is the first 800, 48, 41. The last 600, 37, 08. Settles again, stalls back, racing. Uh, vocals began well with you, awake Caledonian boy. Princess Stephanie knows speed. Further out on the track here, showing some pace, a stylish halo with Red Aquila and dual action when they settle down. Uh, good race for the front up the back of the track here and on the outside, stylish halo. Red Aquila and dual action are going up quickly with Caledonian boy. All in a line there from you awake and pushing through in the middle now, Star Nation. Star Nation, stylish halo from Red Aquila, three in line. Dual action makes it four in line on the outside. Two links, Caledonian boy, perfecta. On the inside, you awake, two lengths further back, Thong Classic. They're followed by Vocals and Patella. A length and a half, Appleby, and further back, Home Wrecker, followed by Kurtray. Then came Archley, second last, Frarina and Princess Stephanie, last of all. 8.50 out, coming down the side here. Dual action, very deep with Red Aquila, had it a length in front of Stylish Halo. Over on the inside, Star Nation, further out in the track, then Perfecta. A length and a half, Caledonian Boy, followed by Patella. Kurtray went around them, the inside, you awake. A length, Thong Classic, and further back, Appleby, followed by by Homebreaker. Well back was Archley followed by Vocals. Fra Arena and Princess Stephanie last of all. On the turn, Star Nation on the inside out, very deep dual action. Further out Perfecta followed by Red Aquila then Kurtray. Back behind those you awake when they turn for home. Thong Classic held up on the fence. Perfect has moved up on the outside to tackle Star Nation. Then Kurtray followed by Thong Classic. Further back came home wrecker down the outside. Perfect to the leader at the 120 metre mark from out wide on the track. Home wrecker and Patella and Thong Classic up on the fence. Perfecta in front near the line. Perfecta scores ahead. Thong Classic and third, I'd say, Patella. Just in front of close up there is Appleby. Then Kurtray, followed by You Awake Home Wrecker. Further out was Archley, followed by Star Nation. A gap for Arena Princess Stephanie Vocals. Dual action, followed by Red Aquila, Stylish Halo. Caledonian Boy near the tail. Number 13, Perfecta, $8.60, $2.90. Number 7 is second, Thong Classic, at $2.90. For third, maybe five, Patella, at $2.50. At the start, Fairfield, our benefit, 5, 10, 1. Number